The thing about this, you would think that you start here and work your way down here, or start here and work your way back. Make the freaking start in the middle, which is a bit weird because sometimes the better one will be going like this. Years ago, people used to bring me what the day machines and a four seater planer, and the snag was a four seater planer. If I was in like a banana, I'd come out like a banana, mm -hmm. and you put it on the list. It was going like that, and after a while, that become a horrible place to be, you know. It was um, very tedious. Now, the whole thing about it is, uh, you might see better if you move around as I'm turning, because that'll be blocking some of your views there, maybe, you know. Right? Now, how about it? I have the speed set there at the minute, 1330, which is relatively fast, but like you better go slightly slower, and then you can speed it up. Right. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't use bowl guides just for this at all. I keep my bowl guides just down here and stay away from them. So I'm working my roughing guides just and maybe skew. And after we wait, we'll do a bit of skew work as well. Yeah. But it's, we're going to do more specialist work. So we'll start this way up. Now remember, if you're only started turning, it's not the place to be here. Just in case. Stand here and turn it on, or even better so, run away and get somebody else to turn it on. There's a little bit of a bounce in it. You have to come in here. Yeah. 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 I'm looking for some of and I put my hand. I know that you can get a you can get a thing with bolts on your lathe and all. So I'm stepping to have a wee look and I can see there. Look. Can you get it on there look? Yeah. I'm around there look, but I'm flat here. So there's something a wee bit skew off. Timber's timber at the end of the day, it's up to you to make the best day. You can't, you can't take it back and complain. Now, the both of them, another thing that we were chatting about this morning, man, that's crazy. Maybe you buy them and they're straight, but make the fact of work better if you, if you drop it down in the center. I mean, the last day we were talking to yours, and to be honest about it, that's all right, but I would keep I would keep it along this profile here because I never. If you present it like that there, say straight, like that, the two, the, the two edges will block you out, so you like the fact that you're, you're getting kept back. Now, if you were doing, uh, if you look at it from a professional point of view, if you're doing, say, 50 or something, you don't want these problems, you want things to go fast. You know, which a beginner doesn't need to go fast, admittedly, you know. So him but this, you'll see, oh, this way is well turned. And you get it there one, he's well dropped down there, because I'm going to present it like that, and the horns will not be holding me back, they'll be letting me go on. The find that people that make turning stuff don't actually go on to the detail of using them enough. Some do, maybe. So I'm back on here like that, like that. Right. Uh, that guy's the problem with this is around here now. So it's only a matter of opening up. I'm opening up, and it's very easy to be going down the hill, so I walk my way back to it. Very little in there now, so I have to walk my way here again. I'm moving my hand here. Now, this is where I'm using my hand as a stabilizer. Now, if you're only beginning, stop the lift and move the tool rest. But if you're turning, say, for a few <laughs> decades, <laughs> if you're turning for a few decades, you might, you might decide that you can do this. So, my God, I actually manage that, you think, you know, remember that from back on. Because it's telling you, 
You get the detail of it. I'm standing on the gap, but there's no gap there. I'm holding it down on my forearm or my underarm here. Like that. Of course, it is. Now, the wall you bounce here. The nature of a wagon stick is you can't, you can't pass half a shovel shaft to somebody and tell them that's a wagon stick because you couldn't get a thinner, you know, and it will be tapered, you see. So, remember, this, there is, is a good position there. That's clamping it, look. Like. I'm taking a fair bit off here. You got it, Tom. Works a lot better. Come back here, don't put your thumb on there. Put your thumb back here. Because you're going to need your thumb. See, you come a lot, maybe. I'm going to take my big um, speed chisel. If you use a speed chisel like this here, you're using it as a stripper. If you can develop it, that's half and half, where you're using it as a kind of half stripper, it's easier on the edge. Now, the point about this, if I want to go, sorry, remember this, if I want to go here like this, right, right. Now, because that's as hard as can be, you can, you can actually feel it fighting you a wee bit there, you know. So, remember this, you need to take a step and take a look at it and think, no, that's too thick. So, take it on down. Now, once you take it down, you can't put it back on again. That's the problem. We're very good at taking things down, not so good at putting it back on again. So remember this. I'm not happy with the thickness, so take it on down. I'm taking off a fair bit there.
Maybe cash is actually nicer than water and American ice, you know. So you have to bear in mind that, um, you know, the air dried timber, I know the problem with the moisture content and all that, but air dried timber is actually more alive than dried timber. Like, if you listen to it, people say, kill dried, but actually saying you it's killed as well. You know what? That'll be for me. <laughs> I can, I, I'm 100% sure that that's for me, but I'll just have to leave that. We're trying to get a wagon stick, turn the road from the uh, state of Egypt. See? <laughs> Give up. Well, to be honest about it, see the thickness I have there, that was probably the better the thickness up here. You know, it's very cudgelly looking there yet, look at that end, you know. Is anybody any questions there? No questions? We're all shaped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and but it's um, a, a good idea too to figure out the end you're putting on it, you know, about somewhere soon now, because you don't want to turn it down to a stupid size and then think, oh, what am I going to put in the end of this? And now you've turned it, you know, and then you have to go back and do it again, you know. It's as hard as anything that American eye. So it's lovely there, you can see the green there, yeah, right much, you know. Yeah. It's lovely, look. Yeah, but it's. Um, that's right and sharp. That's right and sharp. This is the old one here. The steel on that wouldn't be as good as the other steel. But another thing about the like the skews and all, the bigger they are, the handier they are to use. The smaller they are, the worse they are. You can see the arrow. Yeah. And the position, the position behind that, if you're too far around that way, I don't know how You have to go down the hole to that. The only thing I would look, I would look to the end of the gear, then closer to the gear is important, you know. It's really doing better on the hard ash. Yeah, you see. A good cup there. I have a wee bit of tape this one. If you're learning the uh, skew, it's a good idea to um, mm -hmm. let the skew pick you up. I know it is, I know it is more difficult to use now. But some, some people say it's not very dangerous. Too. Some people call it the devil claw, I think. Yeah, not, it's not, it's not that bad, like, you know. I think they make people evil. more afraid of it than... I know, but here's a, here's a good idea here for you, if you're learning the skew, right? Yeah. Uh, and meanwhile, I'll use the skew the other road, which is no. far better, right? but in this case here, my walking stick is tapered that way there, so I have to go this way here. And I'm right-handed, so I actually do better going this way here. But I'm doing it a wee bit awkward-handed for myself. But if you're learning the skew, which one did I got there? It wasn't that one. Yeah, uh, the old one. Which one? Right? The old one is square here, or the modern one is round here. Can you get it on? Mm -hmm. Here yeah. for the roll. Right. right? Yeah. It's not really an accurate terminology, but I call it the English way. No offense, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and the American way. I call one on the American way and one on the English way. I don't, I don't have any real reason for it. Just to keep it in my own head that I know what I'm uh, looking at, right? Well, I'll show you the difference. But if you're, see there now, the money there, that's the English way there, going like a here with a point up in the air, like that, right? Remember, those, whenever you start with a skew, first of all, the skews that you buy, they seem to be very, very uh, sort of acute, you know, the, they're, yeah, coming, they're coming on the angle, it's very brutal, and the point will inevitably jam. 
And that's the chance you get terrified and you lose your confidence, you know. And that sort of losing confidence is the beginning of something else. Nightmare, you know. Yes. And this, when I'm teaching people to use a shoe, I get about a red tip. It doesn't have to be red, though. Mm-hmm. And I put it around the point of it, I like guess. Yes. Yes. The idea of that is there that you basically learn to stay away from that. Now you will damage the tip and have to replace it. Give us a look at that front of that tip. Yes. So to help anybody out that's on yeah, well the skew. That's, that's, ah, yeah. that's what I'm trying to do. The skew, even the teachers over the internet, is a wee bit weird, you know. It's not an easy thing. Yeah, but that's what I'm doing now is I'm staying away from the front. You see, if you take it as a... Um, saying that there is my... Uh, no, hold on, I'll get a better tool rest on it. Using one of the using one of the blades. Saying that there is my tool rest there, and I'm up in there like that. And if this point up here catches a wee bit, that'll come down and it'll cut a hole in the, in the wood and ruin the bit of wood. But it'll give you a fright. And these frights build up for other people who say, no, they're not even skews with different tools. They just to kind of lose the wall to do it, you know, which is silly. So remember this, this is all to keep me away from there. So I'm there like that now, right? We left that out of the way. Just to Right, now, but the wall invariably damages uh, the tip. So look, I'm working here. And look at the English way here. Right, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not a derogatory thing. Look, there's nothing wrong with it. Go down and hold. And the point of it is, get yourself over it better. The good thing about it is, there's not much dust, you know. Now you have to learn the position, but if it's right here, this is not going to work. And if you're around here, let's try it right here. You hear it, there's nothing happening. You're rubbing the back, but you're not really rubbing the right place, is it? That's what I mean if you had a brass boy or something. Yeah. You know what? I'd put on the end. On the end. Stop us. We were really put on here, you know. The hammer did. It's so plenty of fish. Yes. Let's look at the pillar like there, you know, you see. See, the hammer does come to me. It does away with, does away with a lot of tracking, but it's still too thick. Uh, this is too. It'd be grand for a bit and half a mugger or something, you know, but like, it's a bit too, a bit too much going on. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we're not making weapons, we're making wagons. <laughs> it's not about making weapons. Things. <laughs> somebody, somebody picked up on that, did that's, that's not for me. That's Stanley. I remember that one. And I'm using that in exactly the same fashion, but that one not cause you the same problem as the two. You know? It's um, a lot more friendly or something. So I'm trying to figure out the kind of That's more about a wood. And I'm just trying to see that the other one is doing much more. 90 degrees.
And how about those, if you look at the finish, when you're presented like that there, right? The finish is rope. It doesn't matter. I just want it off. I don't, I don't want it to take too long, you know, because I've all things to do. I have to uh, program Bus myself. Buses to catch. <laughs> but I never actually catch. The bus never stops. <laughs> you have to get on it if it doesn't. Remember, I was walking back there. That's the reason I was getting That's a different way of walking there. Uh -huh. You plug me off. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had a big red button. So the, don't touch the red button, big oh, no, 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 no. oh, right. yeah, I'm more pleased with this guy is now. Then we might have taken this one down. You know? Is anybody any questions now? No? Any questions? How are you, Stanley? The thing is, um, now, I've, I've known people, they make a, um, what, what do they call it, a stabilizer? It's like half a day, they make a, make a stabilizer. Who is half a day? I don't know if you're making a whole lot of wax. Is stick for a small one? No, this is, this is not actually a very long stick. Now, you can imagine the longer the stick and the thinner and all it gets, the worse, you know? Now, the thing is, for the sake of time, well, uh, we'll leave it at that, but I want to do a different thing now, a completely different thing. So, if we... How, how are we going to get the handle on? Oh no, we have to join the handle on up here, yeah. Uh, this way here will be the handle. We want, we want the handle... You attach a handle lady. on. Yeah, well, we'll more to the side on with the tenon on, you know, that is a good question. <coughs> we just can't nail that on, unfortunately, you know. Mm. Then what it does, we can uh, feel the weight of that much. That's a hard bit of wood, you know. Yeah, but an airy sash would be softer, so the tight wouldn't be the same, you know, yeah. the same battle. And the thing is, um, I'm going to have to cut a couple of bits of wood. So, uh, before we leave, right. I don't mind you taking the ice cream. Right. Uh, for Tony, don't forget, we have to... Uh, there's a bit of the red jambus here. Right. right. And then this is the, the varnish. We'll do that a separate video, Tom, will we? No, yeah. Do you want to do it down now? That's all right, that's all right. Remember, right. Those are, always made for good. Yeah. Remember, those, it was on about the red jambus, and it was on about this finish. Five uh, year. So it'd be Johnson's. able to buy that same stuff, you know, mm -hmm. for outside. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Tom. Right. That us? I can you in the mouth. We'll come back to you and we manage it. Okay, all right. Let us know, Tom. Thank you, Jesus.